Uh, first of all, disappointed with the result. Uh, I think actually we had a chance tonight. I think there was a, I think there was a competitive spirit in the boys, and I think despite the start, uh, I think we bounced back very well. I think we we did a good first half and created big chances. Um, of course, of course, still moments in the game where we had to defend and really stick together and and and, and work hard and so on. But we expected that. Uh, but I think we gave it a try. I will always be disappointed losing games, so uh, yeah, it's a mixed feeling. Would have been even closer but for that goalkeeper. Yeah, say again. Would have been even closer but for that goalkeeper. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You never know. He, he, he did some good saves, of course, and and uh, some brilliant stuff in in yeah, particular two situations in the game, of course, where we could have bounced back and and and, and scored a, a first goal to to one one, and then. Of course, also straight after the second goal, which would would have opened the game again for us. So um, he did well. That's uh, of course also why he plays in the Premier League. And obviously now you can concentrate on the main task, which is travel and promotion in the championship. Yeah, yeah, and win the FA Cup. Money. <laughs> yeah, and it's uh, a man called Force on. I know straight after the game. What can you tell us? What's he done? Was an injury with the with the shoulder. Uh, uh, of course, you never really know, but but uh, it looked like it looked a little better than expected actually uh, when we saw him here after. So, of course, we we need to wait and see, and we have a we need to have a doctor to look at it and, and see how it goes. But uh, I cross my fingers. Um, I think it's actually a little bit better than expected. Just to clarify, I mean, was it he just uh, took a force of his body on, on his shoulder? Was it left shoulder? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I guess it will just have to be assessed now in the next few days. It's hard to tell, obviously, at this point. Yeah, it is, but uh, we have to wait and see. Otherwise, there's just uh, another one who needs to step in and, and make a good performance. And I think what we saw tonight is that some of the guys that haven't played that much so far this season, they were actually they were ready, uh, which I think is, is a positive sign. So, I mean, you said after the game on, on Sheffield, what, what frustrating you at the minute? There's lots of good play we can see again tonight, you know, in possession. Maybe a lot of what you're trying to implement, but... Is it frustrating? And again, we saw it tonight that as good as the finishes were, you know, a lot of them were sourced by you turning the ball over. Yeah, I think I think it's fair to say but regarding the chances. Um, I think the way that we approach the games and 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 has been doing for the last couple of weeks, especially, uh, we will get many chances in the games that we play, and 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 it's just a matter of time before we start scoring. Scoring more than just one or two goals in the games, uh, I think the boys did well in terms of that. So it's more the defensive part where it's not because I think we we allowed too many chances against us, but but of course these four moments in the game where they showed high quality, and we could have done better. So it's it's more these moments I actually want to want to look at and, and and see if we can improve. Of course we have to score goals. Of course we have to create even more chances. But I'm I'm positive about the the performance on the ball. It's more the the the, the goals we give away. Were you slightly surprised when you saw the Palace team sheet? I mean, they went quite strong tonight, didn't they? A lot of their England players. Yeah, but it, but it was also it, it was good for us. I told the boys in the dressing room before we started, it's fantastic. It's it's a good opportunity. Uh, and if you gave me the option uh, whether they play with with more of the reserves or the or the the Premier League lineup, if I can if I can call it that, then I actually prefer they do like they did, like they did tonight because then we see what we're all about and and what's the next next level is for us. So I think it was it was a good test for us and I think we showed some positive signs. But also everyone can see that there's areas of the game where we are not at that level yet. Uh, a bit like Sir Natch, good to get Oscar involved and, and uh, could have scored obviously as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's that's what I mean about the positive performance from some of these guys that. Haven't played much so far this season. That they, I think they they did well and they they uh, they did everything they could to show that they are more than ready for for more minutes. Uh, and obviously, again, one of the new summer signings. First time we've seen Cordoba start. He'll, he'll, he'll clearly benefit from that run out tonight. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And and like we, I've been been talking about a couple of times now. It's 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 for us to get him used to the league, to the physicality, to the to the. To the tactics in the league and, and so on, and, and for him to get some experience playing with the other guys, and and we were a little bit cautious with him in the beginning, of course, without too much uh, vacation for for that guy. So we need to build him, but he's he's definitely improving, and I think his his performance tonight, despite of course being in a back four that concedes four goals, 
I think it was it was a uh, it was positive. Uh, obviously, you've got to ask you like your favourite topic, you know, the transfer window. Three days left. Uh, where do you think you are now? Do you think you'll still try and do one or two between now and Friday night? Yeah, I I, I think we have to just to to make the competition around the starting eleven position as as hard as possible and as tough as possible. That's that's our ambition in this window. But but uh, again, uh, we're looking for players where. They need to be able to, to come in and, and perform and also create that competition. So it's a, it's always difficult to find, but we're looking. I'd have to throw one at you because there was a report before the game tonight. Anis Slimani, Sheffield United player. Is he a player you like, you're looking at? There's many players I like and many players that I look at. Uh, I know him, of course, from uh, from his previous time in, in, in Denmark. But uh, yeah, you also know me. We've been talking so much uh, so far this window, and I'm not a fan of, of talking about players that are not not in in yellow. Uh, one player who is your player wasn't involved tonight. Abu Kamara, just bring us up to date. Where are we with him? Are there, is there interest? In, are there bids? I know there's there's interest, and and there have been so far, uh, more or less from the beginning of the of the window. But like I said, it it requires a a good offer, an offer that that we can accept, and an offer that we think is. Is a uh, is a uh, is fair towards uh, his his value both for the team, but of course also his, his transfer value. So we have to wait and see. Uh, there's interest, but, uh, but like I also said the other day, for now he's not he's not ready to 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 play with the team and 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 to be in. He's training every day with us, but but with all this uh, happening to him, we we just leave that distraction at home and and let's see when the window closes where he's. Uh, just final one. I mean, park, parking him to one side. Do you think we might see some of your Younger lads maybe go out on loan as well, like to Ken Abo, for example, Jaden. Yeah, definitely. We are we are talking about that because what we need to make sure of is that we have a team now where it's players that are able to compete and they they can see that within distance there's a there's a chance that they can get into the starting lineup. If not, then we have to find some options for them. And I think there's a maybe a category of three to five players where we have to sit and, and look if, if it could be better for them to go out on loan. Thanks. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.